Greetings, I'm John Studebaker. I'm your instructor for this course in World Religions. I want to welcome you to, the, you to the course. I want to welcome you to my office. It's great to have you here. And so for each week, we're going to have a three minute video clip to introduce you to that segment. And of course, I believe this is one of the most enlightening classes you can take in your entire college career. And I'm looking forward to working with you and I want you to know I'm available for you. So let me know how I can assist you. I do a check my email about once a day and so I should be able to get back with you and your questions within 24 hours. And as you begin, let me please remind you to look over your course syllabus very carefully and thoroughly because you are responsible for the contents of the syllabus and being familiar with it will often determine how well you do in the course. We won't be, over, we won't be going over assignments in this little video clip. Uh, but don't miss these clips because I'll be giving you a short teaching as well and something you'll be needing for that week to set the tone for the week. Now, um, let's, so let's get started. How can we introduce world religions uh, for week one? Now, I stated in your course material for week one, there's three objectives for the week. First is to produce a definition for religion. Now, that's something you're going to do is develop a sense of a definition for yourself but I want to give you a, de a general definition as we get started. And here we need to go back to the original Latin word religio, which was used way back in the Roman times when they spoke Latin. And the word religio meant to reconnect. Now, anyone out there ever seen the Lego movie? Uh, I haven't seen it, but when I was a child, I played with Legos. Does anyone know the connection between the word Lego and religion? Well, it's in that word legare, which means to connect, or religare, which is to reconnect. Now, religio was the root word of religion, which means a reconnection, either with God or the gods or the supernatural. And that assumes that there was original, an original connection and then a disconnection, of course. So keep that in mind as you're developing a definition of religion. Secondly, uh, recognize the second objective is to recognize how religious practices and rituals aid in religious experience. Now Matthews in his book does a good job laying out some of the religious rituals and practices within each religion. Talking about things like sacred space and sacred stories, rituals and dramas. So read through these well because they give you a sense of being inside of religion. Obviously you cannot, probably aren't going to get in a plane and fly to, Hin to India to be inside of Hinduism for a week uh, next week. But you can get a sense of, and a feel and the pattern of that religion as you study its sacred space and stories and drama and rituals. And finally, uh, Matt, our, our third objective is to identify three approaches used today with respect to the question of religion and truth. And here we're talking about worldviews. Now, Matthews also touches on worldviews with respect to each religion. What is a worldview? It's your basic view of the world and what is true and real within the world. And each religion colors that a certain way. But there are basic categories of worldviews uh, that we want to touch on. Actually, Matthews doesn't, uh, doesn't look at the big worldviews as much. But I want to just mention these three worldviews that we'll touch on in the course, including pantheism, theism, and pluralism. And we'll define those a little bit better next week. But as for now, you're going to be reading an article by Harold Netlin this week which talks about pluralism. And I want you to make, I want to make the note that when you read through Netland, make sure you read it carefully because he's not espousing religious pluralism. He's actually confronting it. So you need to keep that in mind as you read through his article. And with that, I will talk to you soon and see you next week. Have a great week.